you might have seen nano banana and a lot of ui uh, design magic and a lot of thing about image creation video creation but today we are going to talk about ux magic yes you are right so we are going to see what ux magic dot ai can do for you a lot of big names like google and other companies they are already using it uh, in their workflow so today i am going to show you all its features how it is helpful it is really really lovely for ideation for creating your first designs or first draft designs and even importing your uh, files from figma also you can upload a sketch file so we can use it within unlimited ways so i'm going to share with you today how we can use it if you are looking for an ai tool that can be used along with figma to quickly design dashboards uis websites landing pages then this tool is for you so um so here is uh, my idea so let's describe an idea like design a landing page let's say this is my idea i'm going to click this enhance your prompt with ai this is the standard for all the landing pages i have been designing and developing landing pages from past 15 years so i i know a lot about landing pages just for the medical design okay let's see the magic now okay so it is thinking thinking and right now it's called untitled version one so it will take some time because it is trying to generate uh, the appropriate images and all that different you know uh, things for the hero section and header section so let's see what it does okay so i have got the page over here let's try to see what it did okay so this is nice this is the header and i really love how it tried to have something like 50 thousand plus happy customers which is really good dna testing and uh, let's rename this to how can i rename this okay so i can rename it to let's say or live live landing okay so uh, this is it uh, this is nice this is good how it works select your sample uh, i think the image is missing from here anyhow why dna based vitamins okay why our what our customer says choose your plan and oops what is happening okay so this is the bottom which is order your dna kit for 89 dollars i really love this how it came up with all this pricing plan section is really good i really love this one uh, there might be some tweaks and uh, to this design okay so we can regenerate we can also view code which is really nice so let's click on view code you can see we have this html code for all this and we can copy code from here and we can paste it into our editor if you are a web developer this is a great tool for you okay so no i really love this one which is macbook pro 16 view then the tablet view okay so this is this is really really nice and then we can also preview it over here which is a really nice way to preview it in this way this whole design you can share the preview you can you can see over here share the preview with your clients or uh, stakeholders and this is android view so you can see i really love how it designed for all the different uh, you know breakpoints this is the code and this is the preview okay so you can also preview uh, okay so you can also click this for example to see the design over here and you can also export it to jpeg webp svg pdf document html css styles react components so all this you can also share this and now i want to copy this to figma which i am dying for so let's click this copying exporting let's copy this to figma 
export successful but failed copy to clipboard please copy manually so how can i copy manually which is um maybe i think i need to open it in uh, another browser okay so now uh, let's let's try to copy this to figma now okay yes i have to allow this that was the reason i think i had the problem with my browser so let, let's paste it over here oh this is really really good this is really really good okay so i let me zoom into it and i have to see how it has been managed body oh these are sections this is really good so i can also swipe different sections so you can see if i want to move this up i can just move it not like this but i can move them once they are into place okay so i have used a auto layout frame this is really good it has been named properly uh, have different sections and i really love how these sections are named properly this is a very very uh, well done okay now there are a few more things you can do you can see over here here we have the pointer mode you can click on it and you can see the interaction on different elements so this is the pointer mode you can see and also i think we can edit different sections if you want to edit some of the sections over here uh, you can change uh, the text over here you can change the text over here or you can change this element uh, let's try to uh, change this and uh, change this button to okay so let's make this change yeah you can see the border is removed i really love this okay and now um you can edit sections you can edit text you can reference enable reference move to select frames uh, let's see what the reference is disable reference mode i'm not sure what this reference mode actually does maybe we can click on some other frame to reference the design i think this is something like that edit text oh this is really good you can edit text over here and then you can copy it to figma okay so this is good i'm not sure why uh, i'm not getting their you know uh, changing its styles over here there must be something where i can change its styles and things like that so let's now let's go to its dashboard and create some more amazing magic back to the dashboard and now i'm going to add an image and i want to turn it to a design so this is an and let's move on to see the magic this is for ideation this is really uh, great to get a start uh, starting point for your design so if you have a wireframe ready you can just put it over here in this uh, tool for ux magic and let it play its magic and you have the initial starting point or idea for your designs really lovely i, I really love this planning over here on the right side it is generating a very very good example and uh, i would love to copy and create it into figma yeah i think it did really really well and i'm going to copy it to figma to see this design clearly and uh, let's see if it has generated other views yes this is really good tablet view oh this is good this is good okay so you can you know these designs are a bit very difficult when it comes to this you know at least your mobile version of any dashboard so let's copy this to figma and let's let's paste it over here oh this is good so it has generated something nice let's zoom into it and see the details yes it has good it has uh, given me a good starting point for all different you know sections and areas you can see over here uh, this is recent patients and something like that good graph for 
the you know for this section over here consultations per month or semi semi and I'm not sure what it is but this is good this is really really good so let's keep the magic running and I'm going to again go back to the dashboard and now I'm going to add a hand-drawn sketch let's say favorite recipe screen let's run this okay so this tool actually failed uh, on this screen when I tried to create something from a sketch uh, although image or wireframes they are looking really great so let's clone a website so I am going to clone let's say notion okay so I would love to clone uh, let's use a landing folio uh, try to find a landing page and I'm going to clone something let's try to clone this website workable okay, so I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go back to this one and let's say play let's hope that this time it actually works AI is very dangerous you can see I didn't say that try to enhance this prompt but it actually enhances the prompt and started designing itself so this is really really strange why this image is dancing <laughs> I really love this why it is taking time because it actually copies and try to copy the code itself too so you can see the live code you can export it into different formats uh, you can share the preview you can share it you can also uh, preview it in different you know like mobile version tablet version because most of the plugins if you compare it with figma plugins there are other plugins that actually do the same but they actually copy one view of that website either it's a desktop view or a tablet view or a mobile view so this is really amazing that it is trying to have all the views let's see if it copies all the views okay so I really love how this is moving <coughs> and let's see the Android view watch the demo very clean design very minimal design I'm not sure why this button is not working over here also the images are gone the major styling is there but Overall, I think it did a normal job because right now it says it's in beta, so they might improve it. Uh, so if you are from UX Magic, uh, you have to improve one your uh, website URL and also your sketch. You write it over here: clone notion.io. So I can write and. Let's see if it can create something like that. Oh, I, I really love this output. So it, it created a web, uh, this page, which is uh, my tasks and I, it kept it very close to, uh, you know, uh, the design for let's, let's use this and let's pointer mode and, oh, I can write it over here what is this task okay so this is good can i can i click this okay so this is not i i am not able to check this this is overall and interaction is there yeah for the buttons too but i cannot check this or it is not going to remove it so let's try to see the android version mm, android version is a bit poor disappointed iPhone okay so I think I never told it to have a responsive view so maybe this is a problem and um, overall this is good let's copy it to Figma and see the details a bit so let's copy it over here okay, so this is the third UI it is basic but it is a very very good starting point for ideation and you know creating your first uh, wireframe so if you have the wireframes you can 
do something like this so this is pretty simple a landing page design dashboard design emr and this is actually a task management app i design using uxmagic.ai i think still there are a lot of areas it should improve and um, let's go back to the dashboard and you can see these are my projects so i actually also created this project which was the first one i tested uh, which is uh, a, an actual emr project i was creating so for the mobile apps i'm not sure what is happening it didn't uh, create any of the mobile apps i prompted it to so this is a failure try to see if your app can design a uh, uh, you can see this is a bit more uh, better version but actually um, i would love to see if it can design a proper mobile app right now mobile apps are not working uh, from my perspective it is a bit um, you know failing and uh, import from figma let's try to import something from figma so so i am going to share this copy this and let's see if it is going to let me import it over here why it is not giving me the access yeah it is working let's see oops so it says request failed with status code 403 i think it might be um the request not sure what is happening let's try it in another browser so let's try to have it again i think it, it's the same thing i think maybe figma is actually not connected to this one or this tool it is actually re rejecting to imp let the, uh, import the design or something so this is a great tool to create your first ideas your first designs and even uh, create a design starting from a wireframe so if you have a wireframe it really did a pretty pretty good job you can see over here this is the one i actually created from a wireframe this one it's not this one but this one medicare pro so this is what i did with um, with starting with the wireframe so i hope you have enjoyed this video i would love to see you use this ux magic uh, i will share the link in the description below you can use my coupon codes to uh, get a discount which is learn ux id uh, 10 percent off on all devices 10 percent off on all payments so you can use both of these i am showing these two i am learn ux id and you can get 10 percent discount uh, for all the packages on uxmagic.ai so i really love this tool and i hope that they, if if they make it a little bit better like 30 40 percent better it is a very very good option for all the ux ui designers to start um, embedding this tool into their workflow and start creating new ideas building new SaaS platforms landing pages using this tool one shortfall was that it was not able to create uh, you know uis from a sketch and also i was not able to create any uh, ui design for a mobile screen which is still missing in functionality so i hope to see you soon if you uh, uh, are my subscriber you can find the uh, coupon codes or links in the description of this video make sure you try this out use Create a trial account on this and start using this tool uxmagic.ai and I will see you soon with other AI or UX or UI design videos in the next episode. Till then take care. Bye bye. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.